We've constructed a video to help you cope with the added pressures of competition. Arousal and anxiety levels have the potential to increase or decrease performance depending on the individual. These levels can vary in competition versus low pressure situations such as practice. Anxiety can be defined as a negative emotional state or reaction characterized by unpleasant feelings of intensity, preoccupation, worry, or apprehension. This is an example of an athlete who excels in a low pressure situation, but when pressures are added, her anxiety levels increase, causing her performance to suffer. Her free shot was successful while practicing alone with no distractions, but when opponents were placed outside the key, the added competition caused her to miss her free throw. In a study conducted by Wilson, Wood, and Vine, 14 experienced soccer players were put in low and high threat conditions while taking penalty kicks. The low pressure task was to have players take shots on a net with no goalie present, and the high pressure task was to have players take penalty shots with a goalie in the net. Results indicated that players in the high threat conditions were more anxious and threatened by the goalkeeper due to the increased stimulus attentional control system. Most shots taken were aimed closer to the goalie and thus unsuccessful. The individualized zone of optimal functioning is a theory to demonstrate the level of arousal that enables an athlete to perform at their best. It is determined individually because each athlete's zone of optimal functioning varies. Some individuals prefer high arousal levels while others may prefer lower or more moderate levels. This is a contrasting example of an athlete who excels in a competition-driven setting as her free shot was successful with other people standing outside the key. However, in a low-pressure situation, her arousal levels are relatively low, causing her to miss her free shot when alone, with no distractions. In a study conducted by McKay, Lathwaite, and Wolf, university students participated in two throwing tasks in two experimental conditions. For the first throw, students were asked to do their best and throw as far as they could. They were then asked to complete a questionnaire designed to assess individuals' perception on their tendency to perform well under pressure. Prior to the second task, students were also told they would receive a prize if their performance increased by 15%. Therefore, this became a high-pressure situation. Results indicated that the manipulation of added pressures caused individuals' performances to increase. This was a result of the increased arousal levels they experienced. A few ways to enhance your performance if you are athlete A, being that you excel in low demand conditions, could be energizing verbal cues, imagery, or goal setting. A few ways to enhance your performance if you are athlete B, being that you excel in high demand conditions, you could stay focused, participate in breathing techniques, or remain calm and relaxed. To conclude, the manner in which an athlete reacts to their surroundings and different pressure situations is very much individualized as they each have their own level of optimal arousal and anxiety.